when I was going to do this collaboration with Mac for, for Halloween things, I wanted to do something that was showed off some of their colors. They have so many great colors, and, and uh, I thought a Sugar Skull, a Day of the Dead character would be great. I just did a lot of research on, on all the different ways that people have done Sugar Skulls and kind of did my, my own version of it. I started out the whole process with a chromoline pencil and just drew in like the sockets and the nose area and under the cheekbones just to kind of get the placement of it all there. Then I went to the chroma cake, the white chroma cake, and put it on with a big, uh, a big brush to just kind of get the white area all kind of worked in. I do it in a lot of layers. I'll uh, put some colors on and you'll see me painting over the same area that you already saw me paint once before. I then started to do the flowers around her eye, which I, uh, with that I used their acrylics, and I did a red acrylic with a kind of um, rounded brush, and just kind of pushed it on in the in the little flower petal areas. After that, I then used the green acrylic and outlined the flowers uh, with a little pointy brush and did the little dots in the flowers uh, just with the top, uh, uh, the tip of a uh, cotton swab. Then I went back and drew the spider uh, with the penultimate uh, liner, which I think is great, and draw a nice little fine line. So drew the shape of the spider, used the red acrylic on the, on the little bulbous part of the spider. The whole thing about teaching, I think, is really great. So that's one reason I'm really quite, quite happy to be involved with Matt on this project. Went back to her chin with the, with the red acrylic. Let the shape of the brush kind of determine the, the shape of the petals somewhat. Used the high def cyan pencil and, and drew the basic teardrop shape, and then the uh, white pencil to kind of create the highlight, and then I accentuated the highlight again with a white acrylic. I, I'm actually hoping that this will, will be for people to do on themselves, not just makeup artists to do on, on uh, other people, but whoever wants to make themselves up can look at the, the video and the, the photographs and. and pretty much duplicate this makeup or use this makeup to inspire them to do an even better Day of the Dead. But, you know, the thing that was really difficult is because there was some guy with a camera, like, in my way through the whole process. I mean, every time I tried to do something, there was a camera there. And then when I turned around, there was another camera. And when he wasn't in my way, he was hitting her in the head with a, with a mat box. Sorry about that. <laughs>